Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, after a hazy, hot and humid day, we are seeing some isolated thunderstorms popping up across the area, bringing some brief heavy rain to some spots and maybe even some gusty winds as well. Let's take a look outside here. Newport Harbor, not seeing any storms down here. It's been a nice day, of course. The Jazz Fest going on over at Fort Adams and you can see again things looking breezy out here, but this is one of the better spots to be today to kind of beat the heat and get away from the uh, hot and humid conditions further inland. Temperatures 83 in Providence, 78 now in Newport, 84 in New Bedford. Notice the uh, arrows out of the southwest, that's the wind direction. So here's what it feels like when you factor in that humidity and you can see where it's been raining in parts of Connecticut. Look at the uh, feels like temperature, Willimantic 75, but you can see it feels like 90 in Providence, feels like 92 in New Bedford feels like 94 in Taunton. So here's the radar. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms popping on up across parts of the area. Nothing too severe, but certainly some thunder and lightning around with this uh, radar here. I'm going to zoom out so you can see uh, most of the activity is actually is actually off to the west across New York, western Connecticut, Long Island Sound, and uh, the New York Tri-State area. So we're going to be watching this area closely as it moves eastward, giving us some showers, downpours, and even some thunder as we go through the next uh, few hours or so. Three key things, muggy, patchy fog for tonight, like an isolated shower or storm. Better chance, though, is later tomorrow afternoon with some more showers and thunder. Watching the tropics, Tropical Storm Debbie has formed in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll be watching that closely to see if it ends up making any impacts up here in New England down the road, but still a long way to watch that one. We'll talk about it more in a second. Muggy meter going forward, looking at humid conditions continuing for the next several days locally with dew points in the 60s and 70s all the way through the end of the upcoming work week. Weather setup, we have a weak disturbance in the atmosphere nearby. You can see that dashed line here. That's helping to spark off those showers and storms just off to the west, and we'll be around for tomorrow to give us some more showers and storms for the second half of the day as well. So we can time things out from this evening onward. Again, a few past showers and storms continuing through the overnight hours tonight patchy fog develops looking at about 7 a.m. tomorrow about 8 o'clock in the morning some sunshine some clouds looking at fog at the coastline as well as this all moves on and through and then as we go into the afternoon a few scattered showers are still possible notice the temperatures not quite as hot as they were today but still in the mid and upper 80s during the afternoon hours 6 p.m. around dinner time, seeing some activity to the north, some scattered showers and storms there. Our better chance comes later on that night and into the overnight hours with some scattered showers and storms pushing their way through as we go into very early Monday morning. Shifting gears now, here's Tropical Storm Debbie with winds of 40 miles per hour moving northwest around 15. The track is going to be taking it into the Gulf along the Florida coastline here and uh, making landfall later on uh, this weekend into early next week as a Category 1 storm with winds of 75 miles per hour somewhere in the Big Bend area of Florida. And then as we go forward. It kind of wants to stall out across the Carolina coastline. And from there, that is where things get a little tricky as to where the, exactly the storm will go. Does it go further west inland? Does it go further north up the coast? Or does it go out to sea? Only time will tell what Debbie will do down the road. Seven day forecast for you. You can see again, partly sunny and hot on Monday. Temperatures back near 90. Unsettled for the middle part of the week with more showers around temperatures only in the 70s. And then as we go into the end of the week, of course, watching the tropics with Debbie with potentially some sh showers and downpours from that storm.